Hello everybody and welcome back to Animal Crossing City Folk! Today is probably going to be a rather short episode. Um, I've been waiting since around 2 for the power to go out, and it hasn't. It lights have been flickering a lot, and it really seems like the power is going to go out, but it hasn't. So I'm taking the risk now about 4.30 to record. I realize the longer time goes on, honestly this storm is just getting worse, so the higher chance of power going out, but you know, maybe it won't. There we go. I, I know it would probably have, just because of how my luck works, and I know correlation is not causation, but, um, I should have just started doing something, and power probably would have won out already, because that's just my luck. Um, like, continuing the test playthrough of the game I'm playing through at the moment, which won't be coming for quite a very long time, because there is a lot of work I need to do past the test playthrough. Um, it's something I know I want to do, I just want to refresh myself on the game. But yeah, there there is a lot of work that needs to be done before uh, before I can even really consider starting the series, which means I am going to be going with a different game soon. I I know I still need to work on Fire Emblem bonus episodes. They're coming. I am still working on them. It's they're just taking a little while. I mean, you wouldn't think it'd be taking this long, but. Yeah, I, I haven't exactly had time to work on them. <laughs> I've only really been working on my test playthrough of this game I want to uh, play in the future. Because I can play it while a video is exporting, and I, I can't really do that with um, Fire Emblem. So... That's why that hasn't been getting its bonus episodes yet. As I said, it will get them. And just as a reminder for everyone, the bonus episodes will be Ephraim's Path, the... basically the early PvP, and, um... the, uh, the Creature Conquest modes. And I'm gonna be starting with probably Ephraim's Path stuff, and then moving off to the Creature Con... Uh, conquest, and the, uh, the, the, the early PvP stuff. Which was actually kind of neat. Because, like, basically what you could do was... Take your party members and register them to... A, a little combat party. You're gonna cause problems for me, aren't you? Yes, yes you are. Uh, yes, fine. You know, but I have days as big back. Yeah, I don't care, Rod. I... Thank you. Now stay down there, please. Definitely stay down there, please, Rod. We just talked. We don't need to talk again. There we go. But, uh... Yeah. There's a lot of bonus content for uh, Sacred Stones, and as I mentioned, I really want to play it all. And yeah, that's it's it's gonna take time. I really wish I could be like, yeah, it'll be out in like a week, but I I honestly can't say because it's it's literally all going to depend on how much time, whoops, how much time I can manage to devote to it. Because, like, I could record tonight. I have free time tonight, but with the risk of the power going out at any moment, I really can't record tonight because I might lose all of it. Because, as you all likely know from watching it, Fire Emblem videos tended to be, honestly, in recording length, usually around two hours. And in play length, usually around an hour to an hour and a half. So, yeah, 
Not not the most uh, doable. And if I... Well, I plan on doing more Fire Emblems eventually. But when I get to them, I'm going to try and do things to help uh, speed along the videos. So that they're not taking like an hour each. Like, it's something I probably should have done with... Um, uh, Sacred Stones, but you can basically turn off battle animations, and it really speeds along battles. But I also find the battle animations add a lot to Fire Emblem, so I'm really torn on turning them off for, uh... Uh, a series. I don't know. Um, if any of you in the comments have any opinion on that, let me know. Um... Because I know Fire Emblem was definitely not a hit of a series. I really enjoyed making it, but it, it, it did not. A lot of its videos are still sitting on zero views, which is a little disheartening, considering I plan on ending Animal Crossing at some point, and that's currently my only thing getting views. Um, so that that's a little disheartening. But... Um... Uh, where was I going with that? Yeah, I still plan on ending Animal Crossing purely because I feel like I am out of things. Like, I can keep working on the museum, and I should honestly at some point head into the city and get another painting. See if I can keep working on the paintings. But, like, we're so close to having the museum finished, and a lot of the things we're missing we can't get. Like, spiders. I can't get them right now. They're not around. They won't be until next summer. And I'm definitely not keeping the series going that long. And like, I would just like end it soon and then just come back for the holidays that I want to show, but I know I'm not going to remember to actually come on and play. And that's going to lead to our city just becoming a weed-filled mess. And I don't want that and, you know, until we're done. At the very least. So it's, it's, yeah, I, I don't really know what to do. Well, I do know. It's called, I'm going to continue the series and then probably around New Year's end it. But, you know. But yeah, well, as I said in the beginning of this, this is going to be a short episode. So I'm going to actually be ending it off now. Um, so with that, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And I hope to see you again next time for more Animal Crossing City Folk. See you all then.